Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, Blitzpit Grand Final. Uh, I'm joining it late, randomly. <laughs> um, uh, it's just started, it's somebody's first turn. Wolfbark's first turn. Uh, did he win the toss? Maybe. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe. Somebody won the toss. And, uh, <laughs> and there's a KO'd zombie and... And uh, Shawnee has benched his show hands goal. That makes sense. There you go. Yep, we uh, we had a throw a rock which stunned one of Wolfbark zombies. Uh, so he kind of got away with that. And then his first hit with his guard white picked up a KO. So, and he's managed the ball pick up on the blodge. So a pretty solid start for Wolfbark. He'll be pleased with that. Uh, but Shawnee has got the fame, uh, which, uh, as we've seen, can play a big part, especially in overtime format. Yes. And yes, of course, Wolfbark got to pick the toss because he came from the winner's bracket, so my oh. ignorance of the toss was just a clever ruse to get uh, Gdynik to divulge that information for everybody who didn't uh, already uh, know. Uh. <laughs> Segway! <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Thanks, Purple Chest. Apparently, we're the, we're the Chuckle Brothers of Blood Bowl, Jim. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> to me? <laughs> to you, Jim. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be the one that's still alive, if that's all right. With you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Rick Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ma Macho Rick uh, Randy for Llamas Savage, I think, is my full my full title, Jim. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm a bit um, taken aback by that, Rick. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ross Noble and Roy Chubby Brown. <laughs> 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 oh, a stun. I think uh, Roy Chubby Brown will be taking out a defamation case against you there, uh, TT. He's, uh, he's not that on PC. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So uh, a cheeky, cheeky stun from Wolfbark that would have been a huge removal on the tackle white. So uh, quite a nice stun, but uh, but yeah, not uh, didn't quite get the removal. So nothing, nothing too much since the first hit really that KO'd the zombie. Just posturing now, basically can't can't really push down this early. And uh, amazingly, Jim, they both got all their rerolls after three turns. That's that's unreal. It is, isn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. Oh, I thought I thought we'd be into the negative figures by now on on rerolls. The Shawnee versus Wolfbark match. Yeah, maybe they're going to try to roll better this match here. <laughs> well, yeah, learn from the first match. Less one in nines. That's that's good. It's good to see coach improvement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, thanks, Jack Bull. Yes, you could you could tell me yourself, but thanks. <laughs> Can you see my chat now, Jim? Have you got my chat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah. I've run out of screens to to squeeze yours on. Oh, God, it's stabbing me in my heart again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wishing me dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting to get. Wanting different animal pregnancies. <laughs> uh, I, I just can't love a beaver like you love a beaver, Jim. <laughs> not many, not many men can. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I like a good snake. Just don't tell Mrs. Reckless. <laughs> Yeah, the mummies on Blood Bowl 2 are great models. 
great models. I think the uh, the Blood Bowl Two mummies, and I think the uh, tabletop mummies are absolute trash. I think a lot of credit to Cyanide for the animations um, in in Blood Bowl Two. They they are a highlight. Like we give them grief on some of the programming, but uh, the animations are, are pretty great, especially for going back at five years. Yeah, yeah, great model. Oh. Me and Elliot were talking the other day about how difficult it must be to program Blood Bowl AI. Like it. It is terrible on <laughs> Blood Bowl 2, but, uh, but it must be, like, it must be really hard. Ooh, Frenzy Trap? No, no, yeah, I got it. I thought it was a bloody... I thought the other guy was standing on the ground. I thought, this is weird. But he is giving up a hit from doing it, which is a bit bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the problem with taking a, a Frenzy piece. Um, I, it's why I'm, I'm generally a bit against Frenzy. Like, I, I do like the benefits of it, but the lack of control, putting it on a killer in particular, uh, oh. where you can't then run your killer back away again after your blitz, is uh, just a big, big uh, negative for me. Yeah, it's definitely a double-edged sword, isn't it? Yeah, double-edged sword, nicely. Nicely put, exactly. It's a good idea, Artemis, making the final be a two-parter. It's how how do you do it though? You know that's the thing, isn't it? Like, what you'd have to make Shawnee beat Wolfbark twice to win it. That seems just brutal, then, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I'm glad it isn't that. And to be honest, there's enough benefits from getting through as the winners bracket. You play two less games in some cases, which uh, stamina-wise alone, after all this top quality blood bowl for two days is you know it's significant um and and also you do get to pick to go offense first which in overtime formats quite a big benefit so i think there's there's enough benefits to just have the one game to not have the uh the, the losers bracket champion have to win it twice yeah yeah that seems pretty harsh yeah yeah we, exactly screw yeah be really tedious yeah like the idea it would of be having... so tedious <laughs> it would be so tedious the idea of a uh... The idea of a something, you know, a more tangible benefit than just winning the toss, which is all right, winning the toss, but it's. I feel like there could there's maybe something that there could be better than that. But I but, but like is. I said, Jim, you you have a shorter route. If you win it as the winners bracket winner, you you've played in most cases significantly less games, and and for me that that is going into the final that is quite a nice benefit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you played. You've played one less game, haven't you? Um, because Wolfbart got through to the final of the winner's bracket, it is one less game. But if you enter the loser's bracket earlier, it can be more than that. Can it? You can only lose once, can't you? you lose the, let's have a look at this. If you lose the first round, and then you have to play the loser's first round as well, so that's game two, three, four, five, six seven and then this one is eight whereas in the winner's bracket you can have played one two three four and this is five the difference can be as big as uh as eight games to five to win the competition is that right that's crazy yeah okay that's so that's playing less blood ball is it is its own reward then isn't it <laughs> Oh, yeah, if anybody's going to say play less football is its own reward, I'd expect it from you, Jim. <laughs> but, but even even strategically, um, it, it genuinely is, isn't it? Like, you you don't play your absolute peak after already playing um, seven games of absolutely top blood bowl in a short space of time. Like, that is going to take it out of you and take an edge off your mental yeah, game. definitely, yeah. So, so, um, so I, I do feel like there's a big enough advantage winning the winner's bracket. Um than, than there is uh, going through the losers bracket. Yeah, no, that is that's yeah. Three less games is is a lot less. Yeah, to be fair. Well, potentially, or whatever. I don't know how it works. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's a good shot. Oh, the penalty kick rule, where if it goes to kicks, the winner's bracket would just win. Yeah, that'd be okay, I guess. 
That yeah, would... I wouldn't hate that. I'm not a massive fan of kicks. Yeah. That would be okay. The, the, only, kicks. the only thing to weigh up there um, is would it make it too good? Could you be too um, too loose with your rerolls in overtime? For yeah. the win? I guess it, no, it applies to both, doesn't it? It does apply to both. No, yeah, I like that. I like that. You could add that. I really wouldn't mind that being added. Yeah, good shout. Yeah. Yeah, then they both know that if it goes to over to like if it if the overtime ends, you know, Wolfbark's gonna win because he, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they can both be loose with rerolls. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. that seems yeah, abs absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't mind that as a a little addition. Yeah, that could be a rule. It, it going to kicks is always a little bit of a cop out, especially if. The person with less rerolls ends up winning it, which uh, you know I have I have seen on occasion. I've heard it's happened, Jim. I, I think that's happened in the uh, I think that's happened in the Champions Cup even when someone had two rerolls and their opponent had none, and uh, they'd also had uh, Norse <laughs> versus a Chaos Kill Team, a uh, Chaos Dwarf Kill Team, and the Chaos Dwarfs had actually done zero damage to the fucking Norse <laughs> with a cunting armor seven. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'd, we'd have to double check the archives, Jim, uh, to be absolutely sure. Oh, that's a big KO. So there we go. You said about getting the frenzy exposed. Yeah. Um, and uh, and there it goes. KO to the frenzy piece. Big mm. removal for Shawnee. Yeah, that might have happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not bitter. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, three KOs now against Wolfbark. It's starting to add up. Yeah. Yeah, it's making his offense a lot harder, isn't it? Man, these two stuns for Shawnee, at least, you know, give him a slight reprieve, but where's he going to yeah. go the turn after? That's the problem, isn't it? But may maybe he has to push through down the right now because now is the time that they're on the floor, right? He's, this, this could be his only opportunity. But on the other hand, they can only go three next turn, so maybe go try to switch it the other side as much as you can. Still got yeah, three that's, ghouls. That's true. That would still take advantage of that because it would yeah, be a long time until they really recover. Yeah, oh, Mayhems with the raid. Thank you so much, Mayhems, man. Really good stream last night, buddy. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you've had a, a quality stream today. I'm really enjoying your streams at the moment, mate. Good stuff. Yes. Uh, Mayhem's, Mayhem's viewers, we're just in the absolute grand final now. In fact, I should update my stream title. The absolute grand final of Blitzpit. And it's Shawnee's Undead against Wolfbark's Undead. But we have some differences. Uh, there's three ghouls against four. There's a, a Tackle White on one team and a Frenzy White on the other that's currently KO'd. Uh, Wolfbark's on offense, but he has lost three players to KO to Shawnee's one. So Wolfbark having a little bit of uh, difficulty here. And it... It does look like he is pushing through straight ahead. I, I do like your idea about switching back into the middle, actually, Jim. But uh, but it looks like he's he's going forwards. Yeah, interesting. Um, oh, and the ghoul is nice. Yeah, because he could have also he could have blitzed he could have blitzed uh, the mummy there and stuff, and then yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway, does it? It's it's he was in a rough spot, and uh, I guess he is gonna have to try and make these three dodges with with his ghouls, isn't he? Out of How did I get on in Let's Pit Arc? I uh, I lost a random boy uh, who just went out in the losers bracket final in very unfortunate circumstances to a to a riot um, when he'd perfectly eight turns scored. So yeah, it has sort of got through here. Yeah, this is better if it works. Yeah, but it doesn't. That's the problem. This is better <laughs> if it works, but if it doesn't, it's horrible because he gets the tackle Ooh, hit on him easily. Quad, quad ones. Yeah, if it doesn't work, yeah, this is uh, this is ugly now. Two dice with Wrestle Ghoul. Um, or tackle ghoul if uh, if he'd rather um, if he's prepared to take a, a blockless hit first. Yeah, interesting. The problem is the ghoul is. Oh no, he's not blocking the way. No, you can come around the, the back of him. Yeah, he does go with wrestle ghoul. He wrestle. doesn't want to take the blockless hit. Oh well. <laughs> oh, but then that would have been the tackle. We don't know what the hit would have been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
I guess this way you can still make the block afterwards and then maybe just get the... Uh... Yeah, no, I, I think it would have been better to have uh, made the block. I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, you can position the tackle in to be a bit of a pain here. Uh, or, or just to at least tie up the, the wrestle ball a bit. Yeah, I think you might double GFI with that, with that tackler. Try and get it on the ball carrier. Yeah. Oh, he's going. Can you get a mummy oh, on going. the goal? Yeah, you can get a mummy on the goal with a GFI, can't you? So at least you're forcing the the one in nine risk. Yeah. Ah, so you just you just don't need a one GFI to get him in. Yeah, I think he had. Yeah, that going there was pretty good. It's the GFI is post reroll and the and the one in nine hits all all come off. Zombie doesn't dodge. Just done. So he's got an uphill blitz to victory, probably. Mm, yeah, it's tricky against Mark, isn't it? Jimmy you almost want to you almost want to uphill backwards because um, yeah. the ghoul nearest us doesn't isn't the wrestle ghoul. Yeah. But then what what does a push get you that way? Not not very far. Well, the same. You're just coming backwards for a turn, aren't you, and trying to stall? But yeah, yeah, it, it, it's probably too many undead. Yeah, I think you um, just have to go hit the tackler. Hope you power him. <laughs> or well, in fact, is it is it better to dodge the wrestle ghoul and one dice the tackle away, and then just make the four plus dodge against no tackle, and then the three plus dodge? Maybe yes. Yeah, maybe. I certainly agree. Going forwards, better. Yeah, or I look at it. Try and score now. It's gone horrible for him. Yeah, if he gets it in at all, he's going to be pretty happy. Although leaving a three turn, two rerolls to Shawnee is uh, a bit of a death wish for for one one at half time. Yeah, but it's better maybe, than maybe. one nil down, isn't it? <laughs> see, see how this blitz goes on the white, and maybe just try a bit of a potato stall on on Blodge. Yeah. Because going in nil nil is the same as going in one one. It looks very un. God, he's running out of time. What's he doing? He's running out of time. Oh, that's awful. Failed the dodge. And now he gets surfed. That's the... Uh, mm. two, two turns in a row, Wolfbox, one in nine. A critical dodge. That's really, really unlucky. <laughs> Bosh. And a Kaz on the blodge. Oh, this has gone against Wolfbark here. Revenge of Shawnee is playing out before our eyes. Yeah. Three turns and two re-rolls. It, it's definitely not beyond the realms that uh, Shawnee could even score now and, and win this drive 1-0. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, he could like blitz that dude and then pick up the one that's closer. And then, then he's pretty good then, isn't he? If he can... Yeah, nice. He's not doing what I would have done. Who's to say whether it's good or bad? <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is a bit safer. I like that though. That's a bit safe. That's a bit safe. And I guess you can just go with the yeah, uh, the cool anyway. Comes the reroll. It works. So I guess no GFIs this turn. Or does he have to? Can he get to? Is he in range now? Thirteen, I think he's fourteen, got to do 15, a GFI 16, this 17, turn. 18. No, he's in range now. Uh, I guess the risk is if he gets pushed back. Uh, it's all. Yeah, there we go. So now we can afford to get pushed back as well. So he's got GFIs in future turns, but he's still got the reroll in in the future two turns. Oh yeah, I was just I just did fourteen. I didn't think of. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky one D. Nice. Frees up the zombie. They've added protection. Very importantly, in fact, ties up the uh, the zombie here. Yeah. Also makes it a double screen for the wrestle ghoul to come through. Yeah. Otherwise, it was just one three plus pass tackle. Oh, just has to uh, retreat a bit this turn. I think he's got to recover position on some of his players. So the ghoul next to the mummy can come all the way back and be free for a future turn. Yeah. Obviously worth taking the two dice there. I totally agree with that. Yep. Fox ended up with all his rerolls. All his fails have been on ghoul dodges with dodge. <laughs> oh, he doesn't do the dodge. 
Yeah. Uh, he's, he's got he's got to dodge this ghoul back now. Next yeah. action, I think. Can't wait, leave that any longer. Tackles in a very good spot for a Shawnee. Better than nothing to get zombie on a ball. Yeah, he's got, he's got to dodge that girl back and then go for the sack. No, he's going for the sack first without a reroll. Oh, no, it didn't matter. He, had, he could go that way. Okay, fair enough. Then. Gets the wrestle. Oh, stupid was it. I didn't see he could go that way. I didn't, I didn't see that. It, for some reason, that looked like a 4+. Um, obviously wasn't. Yeah, once he got the zombie down. Yeah, like it's weird. I thought he can go three plus through the tackle, or he can go four plus. Oh, the four plus three know. plus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but of course, of course not. Yeah. This <laughs> is why we're fucked at the final. And, and uh... brain fried, <laughs> just watching. Never mind playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that kind of situation there shows you like what disadvantage it is having to play maybe his eight games, isn't it? At the end of the day, yeah, I did have GS five. Fair enough. But yeah, like you know, not to excuse us for not mm. seeing it, but you you know, definitely if you played three more games, you're not gonna be as sharp, are you? No, a hundred percent not, yeah. And and yeah, to, to slightly excuse us, like we've watched many, many games as well. Like it, it you even even talking about the games and watching them uh, starts to uh, take a toll playing them is uh, is a whole nother level. Yeah. Um so yeah, Shawnee gets the power on the zombie and clears the ball, but he's got work to do to score now. Obviously primarily he'll want to uh to stop Wolfbox score. Um, done. But uh, but if he can, he'll want to get the score. But he's got he's got uh, some sort of pass play or handoff play that he'll need to make now. He can't just do it on GFIs. Yeah. yeah, he's got his uh, he's got his Vlad the Stalker is in range. Well, that's the last reroll. He might eat this. Nah, he'll use it now and then gives him an extra chance to it. I guess the inaccurate pass in front of him wouldn't be the worst, um, but no. Oh dear. Oh. He shouldn't have rolled out. <laughs> That's not not good play, is it, rolling the double skulls? He hasn't really... Uh, <laughs> hasn't really suffered. Yeah, I guess Wolfbark would have had too many men around the ball this turn if he'd eaten it. I just I just like the pass play a lot more if you've got the reroll. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gone for this handoff, in here. You might end up killing your ghoul though now. Like you've got to take two GFIs without a reroll. You don't want to attrition your own ghoul. You don't. But what can you do? Like, you've got to. Yeah. You've got to do something, haven't you? So this but rerolling it this turn. Kind of gives you an extra chance if you're going to pass it, which he didn't, and then he got powered anyway, so none of it matters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about stuff. something else. <laughs> yeah. So how does it feel being the the uh, internet champion of GFW, Rick? Oh, absolutely fantastic, mate. It's been a long time. Um, I, I was having a very successful career on WWE 2016, and then we swapped over to 2019, and my career really fell off the rails for a long while there, and I was getting a bit worried that I'd had my day. So to have a championship again just, just means the world to me, to be honest. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. <Russ. laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice little uh, consolation KO from Wolfbark, and he has stopped the score. So uh, it could have gone worse, couldn't it? It could have yeah. been worse than this. Yeah, I mean, not not a lot worse. But yeah, <laughs> it could have gone worse. I mean, he's got a fair shot at getting up to 11 players again for his defensive drive, and then obviously he just needs to succeed at stopping Shawnee or force the score early. Yeah. You know, classic. Classic situation in Blood Bowl. It's not like he's lost a load of his best players. No, but he's he's lost one of them, hasn't he? He's lost one of his three ghouls, and he's got the two two whites. You know, if there's a good chance of one of them staying out, so it's it's pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, the whites is a uh, is a big one actually. Yeah, if both the, if either of the whites stay out on top of the blood ghoul, yeah, that 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 is starting to have an impact. Them being replaced by zombies. Yeah. Yeah, huge KO rolls that on the whites. Good point.
I can still see you in the other chat, you know, Skuro, you savage. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, th I believe you said good luck in your future endeavors, Skuro, which is the, the most uh, BM sentence in, in wrestling. It sounds so polite, but uh, we, we all know the truth. <laughs> yes, he's still got 11 men, but he is down a white and a ghoul, down two of his actual three players. Shawnee got both of his dudes back, so I mean, he'd probably be playing four ghouls anyway, going for the win. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, massive. Um, would would I, I I might gamble here, Jim. You probably think this is crazy, and I might go mummies on the LOS. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, I, I just think he's such an underdog now as Wolfbark. That uh, having a having armor nine there, and B having strength five, where you can in, uh, you can uh, bait, let's say, the one in nine hits from the other mummies. Uh, I realize that if you get removed, then that's totally backfired on you. But there's a chance that you get your opponent to eat rerolls, and there's the chance that you don't get a removal on one of your pieces where a zombie would have got removed because you've got higher armor and you've got less uh, dice against you because the zombies are going to get three dice. If I wasn't underdog by quite a big bit, which I think Wolfpack is, then I wouldn't be doing that at all, obviously. But I think you've got to just uh, increase the probability as much as possible at this stage. I disagree with completely, but... Who can say <laughs> whether you're right or wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a fair argument. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe that's right, yeah. Um, no, Gadenic, Skuro is totally replaceable. And uh, no, he wasn't being a dick lemon. He was just, uh, just being funny. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, Shadow Dice, obviously, you get to stand it back up again. And they're, they're where you want then. They're in the middle of the pitch, um, got, putting guard on stuff as well. Uh, and it's not a guarantee by any stretch that they're going to get knocked down every time. <laughs> totally irreplaceable, Skuro. <laughs> irreplaceable. <laughs> I definitely said irreplaceable. I'm sorry that... Uh, I'm sorry that mass holes don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> a cracking start for Wolfbart though he's uh he's ridden the uh the block and mighty blow hits and uh and come up smelling of roses no no removals <laughs> yeah. oh extra arms but is totally replaceable as well yeah they are the foundations on which in which jfw was built is extra arms but and skura mezzo well gorilla mezzo skura mezzo shit <laughs> But Gorilla Mezzo <laughs> is God tier. <laughs> yes, Wolfbar could be glad right now he's got the Wrestle Ghoul, considering he's lost the uh, the tackle. At least that that sort of substitutes it right for sacking purposes. Yeah, it's, it's not the same for attrition hitting the ghouls um, for sure, but maybe you just make more mummy blitzes. Try and get the mighty blow, uh, kick it in. <laughs> yeah, rogues <laughs> It's uh, it's like streaming with Zunk Rogue. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 Rick. Whoa. Whoa. First you wish me dead, now you compare me to Zong. Fucking, I don't know which is what. <laughs> oh, with, with friends like me, Jim, with friends like me. <laughs> who, who needs enemies? <laughs> uh, lo love you, Jim. <laughs> My, mighty Blow found a zombie. <laughs> I was, I was only making, I love Zunk. I was only making the point that Zunk likes to talk about other things than the Blood Bowl. He's a brilliant conversationalist. I love coming on and chatting about what my favorite coffee is on a Saturday morning whilst Andy plays Blood Bowl in the background. That was, that was only my points. Okay. <laughs> Zunk's very, very entertaining. Zunk, Zunk is an absolute star. 
Well, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hear you, that you're saying that Jim is very entertaining, and that's why you said it. So that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> It's it's only a joke, Jim. It's okay. only a joke. I know. I was only joking too. <laughs> but I am I am going to go down to the shops and buy a bell. <laughs> yes. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> it's what what our relationships needed, Jim, is a bell. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. <laughs> oh, cheeky one in nine Ooh. into Wolfbark cars. So, oh. Shawnee getting the best of the one in nine. Well, there was a removal. Ding, ding. I like curries. So, Wolfbark at best uh, down to 11 players now. If the white comes back, if not, it could be down to ten. Um, I mean, but, he is uh, down much, to ten. Uh, much more importantly for this drive, exactly, he <laughs> is now down to ten, yeah. uh, which uh, is problematic considering he's got to stop the Shawnee score or force it early. He certainly can't afford to stay down players for long. No, no, he's pretty much got to stop it. At least stop it. I uh, think again, I think talking he... talking about increasing the uh, probability here. I, I wouldn't hate seeing a foul on this on this mummy. Um, yes, he he does zell zell I'll oh, oh. Sean eighteen does stream. He if you can find him at Sean Man TV. <laughs> <laughs> now that's that's the good Sean. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, sorry, I couldn't I couldn't resist. <laughs> you tune in and be like, why, why is he playing so well? This isn't what I watched at Blitzfit. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. Um, there's there's Shawnee's. There's Shawnee's one. Oh, dear me. No, the funny thing, you know, he gets a bad rap, really, because of the um, the cross-platform cut, but Shaw, I really think Shawman is, is genuinely a good... Good it's I, just because I, I call. Uh, it's, it's because uh, it's because Shawnee hosted me once, and I, 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 I thought, <laughs> you called him Sean Man. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I could only see Sean on the stream, so I was like, "Is that Sean on TV?" And I just didn't think Shawnee was oh. like would be streaming. You know, it was when he would just come back to streaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does foul the guard, mummy, and uh, unfortunately just a stun. No send off though, which uh, is is good. And and in fact, the stun. I say just a stun, but uh, stunning that mummy for a turn. Could provide an opening, I, and I do like the foul there, really, because um, you know, as you say, he's down, down, like in situation, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, like, he's up against it. So, going for that foul, that was a way to get him back into it. I really like that foul. Didn't really like the idea of mummies on the LOS, but I do like the idea of that foul. <laughs> yeah, f fair enough. And in the meantime, he's lost another piece as well. So, like, the situation's got even worse um, than it was. So, yeah. The, the, Worse it gets, then obviously the the more call to uh, to increase the uh, the randomization. The the variance, sorry, is the is the better word for that. Let's increase the variance. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it seems like that purple chest. It does. It does feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Shawnee with the one days. He loves the one days on mummies. He's shown that a lot. <laughs> Where's Fault Force? I'd love a kebab right now, actually. Does Tony still get you kebabs, Jim? He's Tony's never got me a kebab. Oh, Dim. Did you say Dim? No, 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 I did say Jim. I thought Tony Plays Paul used to get you kebabs. Somebody used to buy you kebabs. No, Fault they... Force. Fault Force buys Dimmy G kebabs. Um, I know, yeah, I, I know. And then Dimmy G shouts at the guy delivering it. Yeah, we... yeah. <laughs> I, I've, yeah. I've re requested Fault Force to not buy me kebabs. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, nobody has nobody has bought me a kebab ever. Oh, okay. I think it was it was maybe just a a little meme joke in your channel a couple of years ago. Then uh, that I uh, was uh, not getting the joke. Ah, uh, uh, yes, like... yeah. It's because when I was in Germany, I liked eating kebabs. So, like, when Tony would donate, he would be like, "There's a kebab for you." 
Oh, that was, yeah, wasn't literally, yeah, there we go. It wasn't literally buying your kebabs. It wasn't nice. literally buying your kebab, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, and Last Frogman, yeah, exactly, yeah. Last Frogman, and he would say, there's a kebab and stuff. Um, because then they, then there were German kebabs, but, um, yeah, no, people have bought me kebabs ever. It was a total lie. <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean was, no one's, like, no one from the stream has had it delivered while I was streaming, like, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> And then I, I would certainly wouldn't have told the delivery guy to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I do really want a kebab now. Thanks, Dim. Cheers, <laughs> cheers for bringing that up, man. I really, really want a kebab now. Oh, I'm sorry, Lemon is good. See, there you go. Look, Lemon literally subscribed to my Patreon. Bit of a plug there, just so I could buy kebabs. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. So he's a good man, Lemon. He's a good man. <laughs> a little sour at times, but for the most part. <laughs> oh, that was awful. I'm becoming a dad in a month, though, Jim. So I've got to practice my uh, dad jokes. Oh, so that, there you go. Well, that's congratulations. Fun. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah at least you. At least you're qualified with the jokes front. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the only way I'm qualified. <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry exactly, to report. Yeah. That was my point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> coming, coming back. I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to. I'm for the oh. fucking savaging I've taken. I've got to do something. <laughs> I would never, never imply you'd be a bad father, Jim. I, I'm, for goodness sake, I've only wished you were dead. Let's, I'm not. let's not, let's I'm not go too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. That was a big removal for uh, Shawnee there. Um, I think that gives him a good chance to, you know... Get good control, nicely chains out the guard, lovely play. I think this should be an easy one miller for Shawnee now, really. Yeah, Wolfark has to go wild to get something here. Throw the rerolls in if needs be. Um, of course, he'll have, you know, he might have the one turn chance still. He hasn't taken too much attrition that he wouldn't have the one turn chance as it stands. And he could pull a Shawnee and, and get the riot. Um, but, but yeah, realistically, I'd like to see Wolfark just go nuts here and. Uh, Try, try the big high risk high reward plays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's got to. Is this is this a, just a one D on? Yeah, it's just a one D randomly from a zombie. Do you take yeah. that one D? That's funny to leave. I, I absolutely think you do. Yeah, I think I would. Because you can push him into the mummy as well, which is like all right. I mean, maybe you should. Maybe you should just blitz with your mummy into his mummy. That's just boring, isn't it? It's rough. Rough. He's got a big decision to make, and he's only got a minute to do it. This is horrible. This is like a do or die moment. Do you just give up on like? But if you get the removal defense? on the on the short hands goal, you you open the game back up for yourself. And if you get really lucky, it could scatter through to your players potentially because you're going to be able to pow in the direction of your down mummy. Yeah. Got nine players. I don't know. I think feel like this is a huge turn of whether you just give up conventional defence. Yeah, he's got to make that decision, hasn't he? Yeah. Got to look look at the player count and say, can I this turn get get enough attrition that it isn't worth me taking that sack? Or do I need to to try something uh, a bit spectacular? And he's gone for it. He's was gone he, to make it. Was, yeah, game. he's going for the two dice. Putting the guard in first. A bit unlucky to roll a, a one on the very first one, but having made it... Oh, is he going yeah, for the wrestle hit? Oh! He might be going for the wrestle hit. Yeah, that's, he's got to, hasn't he? That's, but unless he wants that for the recovery. I feel like he's going to the wrestle hit. Like, Whoa, <gasps> he just ran out of time. Oh! Oh, Ooh, that's fun. a ringer stinger. Mm. And he put a reroll into that. 
I think you only do the GFIs for the assist if you're going to hit with a with a wrestler. Oh yeah, there's no way that you just face up with the mummy there for no other reason. Oh, like I could not. Really, he's not. I could see like just flinging the zombie at a one D, but I think if you're gonna if you're gonna get the assists in, it's to hit with a with a wrestler. I think his plan was probably a blitz with a wrestler. And you don't probably... leave your guard white and you wrestles up the ghoul off to the left either because they're horribly out of position. Oh now. yeah, yeah, he definitely just ran out of time. But I, I think his plan was the, the 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 wrestle ghoul hit rather than the zombie hit. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, his mummies might save the day here if they stay on the feet. They might not let um, Shawnee escape. I'm, I'm watching this with the wrong point of view. Sorry, guys. I'm going to flip this around. Uh, Shawnee escape uh, forwards and left here. If he'd managed to get the, the at least one mummy down there, it could have been gone. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, Lemon. Donna Calzones. Me too, rogues, but man, they are stodgy. But I totally agree. Donna Calzones are, uh, or Calzones are the, uh, the absolute bomb. Just a push on the mummy. Really well this turn, actually, and he might have an opportunity to at least get uh, Tackle Zone back on the ball. Shawnee's the one that's going to run out of time this turn. <laughs> Gosh, uh, the, t the tournament's starting to get to people here a little bit. And uh, and yeah, Wolfbark, if Shawnee can't do anything here, might be able to get guard on the ball by hitting the ghoul, and then would have a 4 plus dodge with reroll for a 2 dice. Yeah. Shawnee making some moves with no time left. Lovely jubbly. Now, now it would be a, a couple of GFIs as well, but still the same thing. In fact... He can dodge through, can't he? Could no, he no, he can just... Uh, yeah, this is better. If anything, mm. that mummy has just moved out of the way. Holy yeah, crap. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Yeah. He should not have done that. Yeah, guard in there, 2D him, and then dodge through. In fact, he doesn't even need... No, he's, yeah, he's going to need a dodge. Well, maybe he doesn't even need a dodge. He, could he powers the white with the mummy. Yeah, and then powers the uh, uh, and then, ghoul as well. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe the dodge. So that can, that means the mummy can now hit the ghoul. Yeah. The push is good enough for the guard. Ow! A little bit of game on here when it wasn't expected. The, the one-minute turn's really kicking in, and maybe maybe a bit of fatigue in our superstar coaches here. Yeah. Very understandable fatigue. Yeah, you can get the you can get the guard in here and then punch him and chain his mummy to there, and then he could punch him. Is that not the blitz square that he's just pushed the goal to? Yeah. Oh, haven't, haven't oh God, he pushed him the wrong square. <gasps> he pushed him the wrong square. What's he done? Is he getting the mummy free for a blitz? Pow. This is a bit, a bit ugly. I think this is this was good because you, there was a chance of powering him, and then if you powered him, then you could have you could have uh, powered the uh, white and then gone through without a thing, without a dodge. And if you push him back, you've still got the dodge through that you had before. So I, I like putting in the, the <laughs> white there and punching that. But you just pushed the, you just pushed the re you just pushed the ghoul the wrong square, didn't you? It's, it is a high pressure game, Timmy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, rogues, you, you are right. Like without being overly critical, because they're both much better coaches than me. They they are currently battling to see who can throw it away the most. <laughs> uh, they've played amazing tournaments. Every game I've watched these two players has been awesome, and they've played a really good game up till now. That was uh, that was an ugly three turns in a row. <laughs> And it is exactly, it is what makes Blitzbit interesting, Kyle. One minute turns, even for the very top coaches, is bloody difficult. And playing this many high quality games in a short space of time is bloody difficult. And so you actually get to see the top coaches pushed to the point of somewhat breaking and making the wrong plays, which isn't normally the case. So yeah, this is, this is what it's all about. Yeah. But now this is looking real, real safe for Shawnee now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was a big turn. mistake by Wolfbark. It could have been a misclick or, or it could have been a misplay, but that that pushed him in the wrong square. That was real, real bad. 
Real bad. Too quick for what, though, Purple Chest? Like, you, that's the question, isn't it? Too quick for top quality Blood Bowl? Yeah, to, for like the absolute tip top quality Blood Bowl, it is too quick. But then you'd literally want chest style turns, wouldn't you, if you wanted absolute pinnacle? But realistically, you could get absolutely top quality on three minute turns. But then for a spectacle, then this is. Well, it, it literally isn't Purple Chest. I'm sorry. You won the last Blitz bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say it's too quick for you when you won one. Um, you, you definitely uh, handled it very well, mate. So, uh, but, but again, did you, did you play your absolute best even when winning it? No, but nobody does. That's, that's the beauty of it as a spectacle. Yeah. Um, yeah exactly. Nobody does. But you played well enough. You played close enough to your best that you won the tournament, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I think I like it. I like it. It is just awful now. I don't see anything. <laughs> just, I, I, I guess you can three dice the guard whites and just recover your white and cool positionally a little bit. Uh, uh, this this is actually, uh, uh, this is pretty great actually. Ricky can go for the uh, five plus, six plus uphill blitz. This is looking great. Oh uh, yeah, I'm Woo! sorry for being so optimistic. Actually, that is a huge cast. If if Woodbot pulls off any sort of miracle, that is a massive non regen cast. Yeah. If Shawnee internet breaks <laughs> let's just get, and gets a replay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I guess so, Lemon, yeah. I guess so. Do a bit of racing. Learning. That seems like a really odd blitz to me. I'd have either liked the white and the uh, the ghoul to come round and blitz that ghoul with the mummy taking the three dice first, or for to do the hit that he did and then the mummy to have gone and blitzed the tackle white. I, I don't really see why he's come round and on one dice blitz that ghoul. I just want him to get back and then do something on the way out, I think. It's, it's, it's also left the guard guard white more out of position. Like, he probably way. gives zero fucks at this point. <laughs> do you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, he's lost, hasn't he? He knows he's lost. And barring, barring insane dice, he's just thought, fuck it, I'll click and see what happens. I don't know if the format encourages snowballing, but it's certainly like there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, randomness, isn't there? Like a lot of uh, you know a lot of variance because obviously everyone's pretty similar in terms of skill level. So no, it's you know even if there was four minutes turns, it'd be rare that somebody would completely outplay somebody. So it's just generally just going to be more decided by the dice and and big mistakes and stuff, isn't it? Which is fine. It's good to watch. Yeah. Ooh. That's a huge KO if that stays <laughs> out for the uh, <laughs> for the inevitable overtime. Ooh. Yeah, post post riot two turn from Wolfpark. That's uh, that's massive. <laughs> um, actually the, the only reason why it has some semblance of importance is that uh Wolfpark needs the numbers for the one turn attempt. And he's yeah. starting to get to the point where he's gonna need lucky KO rolls to get the correct amount. I, just don't, I don't think he could do it anyway, honestly. Sean is going to set up to make the one the one turn hard, basically impossible for movement seven anyway. But he does have the frenzy piece if he wakes up. That's the only... Uh, I know it isn't like uh, the be-all and end-all, no, but it, I... it gives a slight edge that you wouldn't normally have to the to the undead one turn. Yeah, but it really, movement seven one turns, you only really score them when your opponent sets up badly. And yeah. if your opponent sets up well, you, you just ain't going to do it. Oh my goodness me! Wow! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> wow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good effort, Wolfbark. Bloody hell. How much movement had he done to get there? I presume he couldn't have got to the... F it doesn't seem like he moved that far. I, I feel like, could he have got round for the... 
for the one dice, but maybe he couldn't. No, he was he was down on the ground, so you'd have had to have like. Oh, sorry, right? Yeah. He was. He did start at the floor. I didn't think he did for some reason. Right? Yeah, definitely didn't have the movement then. Whoa! What a hell of an effort there! Oh! He gets all four back, Jim. Oh. Just gives that sliver of hope. And he has three guards, so. Shawnee's backlining. Shawnee is just backlining against the one turn. Right. There you go, sorted. Good day, Nick. G'day, Nick. <laughs> yeah, Shattered Ice, yeah. <laughs> Rogues. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of lazy. I'm surprised Johnny didn't go for a proper defense. He's gone for the wide one. He's probably he really thinking. thought he had a proper defense. I guess Riot. Mm -hmm. And, and he's probably bloody knackered, and he's he's thinking Wolfwire's got no rerolls. Like, yeah, I I'd I'd I'd, I'd be tempted to be lazy. <laughs> he is a, he's a bit further forward than normal, so he's probably thinking, um, you know, riot. Yeah, yeah. Wrong shenanigans. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you're still with us, Jim. Never stop existing. Oh, thanks, Rick. I'm in it. Oh, he did he. Boo. Boo. Massive congratulations, Shawnee. Blitz Pit 6 champion. Commiserations, Wolfbark, who had already beaten Shawnee. So that's got a sting. But uh, Shawnee pulled it out when it mattered. <laughs> Thankfully, there were no <laughs> witnesses. <laughs> Good day, everyone. Just Good day, Nick. Always working on the mic. <laughs> hey, Jim. Hey, hey Rick. Uh, well, th thanks for giving us the. Uh, cast the last couple uh, last couple games and pleasure, over the weekend. Man, pleasure. And Thank uh, you for having I mean, yeah, uh, it's really really helpful. Uh, just like to say a few thank yous and congratulations. I mean, uh, one big congrats to uh, to Shawnee and is uh, uh, taking home the title and uh, Wolfbark for making it all the way to the grand finals. Uh, big thanks to. Uh, all the streamers who've helped out over the weekend. We've had, I mean, some people might have just popped in and seen Rick and uh, Rick and Jim, but we've had a whole team of people helping out, uh, which has been uh, been really good. And uh, I don't really sponsor this my, myself, so to say, is I've got a whole team of people who help out sponsoring as well. So big thanks to all of those guys and uh, everyone who's come out and watched and played. Uh, been a really fun tourney uh, for me hanging out and doing just doing the admin work but uh, uh, I hope you guys have had a lot of fun with it as well yeah, and a massively awesome job Gdanik thank you on behalf of all the viewers all the players all the casters uh, we, we all have such a good time and you do such a good job arranging these and it's a lot of work so massive thank you to you as well yes thank oh, you geez. very much Gdanik absolutely glorious yeah. No worries, guys. Uh, I'll just chuck a link to the uh, Blitzpit Discord in both your chats. So if, if people are interested in following future Blitzpits, um, uh, seeing when they're coming live, uh, future stream times, getting a bit of the inside scoop, uh, following when they're on, uh, that's the Discord for it. Um, feel free to go on there and congr um, congratulate Shawnee or anyone. <laughs> or just see, poke your head around. Um, and uh, thanks again, everyone. Cheers, guys. Have, have a good one. Thank you so much. Easy. Catch you guys. Yep. Cheers, Gadanik. Cheers, Rick. 
Yeah, yeah. thanks, Jim. Uh, man, I, I have such a good time casting these with you. It's going to be so disappointing when one of us makes it to the final one, <laughs> one blitz bit, and we can't cast it with each other. No, I, I do I do hope to see you have a good run at one of these. You do one. Uh, you, you play great football, mate. So, uh, yeah, but thank you as always for casting with me. It really is a, an absolute riot. Thank you very much, Rick. And likewise, gl absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.